Houston, and we're here today just to have a look at the products and um, see what you can use in your autumn hair care routine. Hi, I'm Laura from Lush Kings Road. Today I'm going to be introducing Non Diego to our hair care range. What most people don't know about Lush is that our founder, Mark Constantine, is a trichologist who's been practicing for more than 30 years. So he's a professional that knows a lot about the scalp and about the hair. All of our hair care range incorporates really, really lovely natural ingredients with a focus on creating a healthy scalp, which is going to lead to really healthy hair growth. So um, my hair is quite dry, and my scalp especially, so um, I, I like a lot of moisture, but I don't like my hair to feel really heavy. I don't want it to feel like there's something in it, but obviously you know there's something in it. Okay. Yeah, so, is there, what can I do about that? Both are different things, like what's your routine normally? How much time do you like to spend on your hair? Are you the kind of person that likes to just kind of wash and go, or do you like to really, you know, spend time, do treatments, and you know, kind of... Um, my hair doesn't get much pure for me. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like really minimalistic. I just want to wash it and go, literally. But um, I, unfortunately, I can't go because my hair is so dry. Yeah. So um, I do like to wash it, then condition it. And I normally um, seal in with some sort of oil. Normally, it's olive oil. Okay. But sometimes coconut oil, I'm trying to get into that. Okay. And then I generally just top up the moisture a few times a week and then I wash every two weeks. Right. Yeah. Perfect. So there's a couple of things that we can think of straight away that would probably help um, help with the moisture levels in your hair. So every couple of weeks when you're shampooing, Rehab is a really, really nice shampoo for you to try. This is basically, um, we designed it to be all round repairing for any kind of hair that is damaged or that is dry. It has loads of essential oils in there, things like peppermint and rosemary that are going to really sink into the scalp and encourage really healthy hair growth from the inside out. And it's also blended with olive oil, so it moisturises even at the shampooing stage. So when you're using it as a normal shampoo, you can see slightly the separate layers of the olive oil. So you give it a shake. And then we just try a little bit on your hands so you can see what the texture is. So you can feel the olive oil in there. Yeah, I can feel that. So really even as it's foaming, it's really, really nice and moisturising. So this is something that would be nice for you to use every couple of weeks to cleanse the hair. Mm -hmm. It also has things like mango and papaya in. The fruit enzymes from that are actually going to be what cleanses any sort of um, older skin or any um, oils and dirt away from the hair. But that's really nicely balanced out with the oil. It feels really soft and moisturised actually. Yeah.
there's fresh strawberries and orange juice and vanilla in this one. And I can smell, smell that really when she put the in water in there. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually used this one before and every time I've used it, people are, like give me a hug and be like, oh, it smells so good. It's nice, right? Yeah. So this is one option. And then if we want to go a little bit more rich. Sorry, I just saw it. <laughs> On your other hand now, I'm just going to try a little bit of retread. Okay. So this is the richest conditioner we can do. You can see it's quite thick. Yeah. It's got some soy milk in there as well, and it also has yogurt in it and cantaloupe melon. So it's a really sort of fresh smell. And with this one, this is something that we developed for really quite sort of damaged hair or hair that is very dry and brittle on parental breakage. But it's surprisingly not heavy on the hair, mm -hmm. so it doesn't weigh the hair down too much, even though it's very rich and very moisturising. So we'll just rinse this off now. And how are these feeling? I actually like the second one. I think it's still soft, but I feel like that it's gone around. It's got a sort of coating feeling. Yeah, something like that. It? Yeah. So it feels quite protective. I think if I had to make a choice, I'd probably lean towards the second one. Okay. Because even after um, I wash and condition my hair, sometimes it, it gets really dry really quickly, so it'll air dry, and right. even with the oils in it, it'll just feel a little bit brittle yeah. right away. So I probably would, I think I'd probably get a lot more from the second one in terms of what my hair needs. So now that we've looked, at our shampoos and our conditioners. There's a couple of other things that I can suggest, so things that you can use after washing and things that you can use before washing as well. Okay. And these are gonna be things that you can either incorporate into a daily routine, or if you prefer, you can save them for like, you know, deep treatments once yeah. in a while. So the first thing to suggest, if you like to top up in between washes with oil, would be R&B. So this is a leave-in hair moisturiser that we developed, especially for black and for afro hair. Mm -hmm. It's got a really, really lovely base. There's oat milk in there, which is used really traditionally in eczema anyway. We use it in our body lotions for eczema. Yeah. So this is going to really help your scalp. There's extra virgin coconut oil in here. There's olive oil. It's got a really lovely smell of some bay and some jasmine in there. Mm, yeah. And with this, there are so many different ways of using it. Everyone, I think, has got their own way of doing it. Some people like to put it into damp hair and let it dry into the hair. Mm. Some people like to add it to dry hair. Some people use loads. Some people just use very tiny amounts. So I think the best thing to do is get a little bit on the hands like this. I'll let you try some of this out. Okay. So get a little bit on the hands. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of, I like to rub it between my fingers just to like coat my fingers and then just work it into the hair. Yeah, it does spread quite a bit. I can feel the still. There's avocado butter in here as well. So there's just loads and loads of those really lovely oils and butters that just should sink into the hair. <laughs> and as you can see from the fact that you can't stop smelling your hands, it smells amazing. <laughs> So this is a really, really lovely thing and it's something that's nice because you can just add it to the hair and it doesn't actually like build up in the hair so even if you're using it every day, it's not like you get to the end of the week and your hair feels weighed down by it, your hair will just drink as much as it needs to so you can just kind of react to how your hair feels and add as much as you want to. It's a really nice thing to use in between washes and you can get it right down to your scalp and the oat milk is going to really help it as well. That explains a lot actually because I have tried army before mm -hmm. and my hair was so dry. It was like, it was, I used army as kind of like a recovery. Yeah. Like when it was really dry, I would put it in and like you said, it just soaked it soaked it all up and it just felt like it balanced it out. I don't know yeah. what, how, but... That's what army stands yeah. for actually. It actually stands for revive and balance. Okay, so Hence, it clearly yeah. does what yeah, it's supposed it to do. <laughs> So we actually just, after selling it in the smaller pots for a couple of years now to see how people used it and actually really how long it lasted for, we've now um, sort of catered to customer request and we now do it in a really nice big pot. So it means you can stock up, it's really, really good value and you can really incorporate it and make it like a cornerstone of your routine. So this is one of our best selling and care styling products at the moment. It's one of the most popular things in the hair range in the UK. There's another couple of things, like I would say that having like a really good um, like aftercare product and then shampoo and conditioner is a really good cornerstone, but there's a couple of other things that I would show you that maybe you can use 
more occasionally um, that you can sort of work into the routine as and when you feel you've got time. The first thing would be, because you mentioned your scalp and because you mentioned your scalp being dry, it would be super balm. Okay. So this is the scalp treatment. It's really, really simple and it was developed for itchy and for flaky scalps and for dry scalps. The base of this one, you can see, is extra virgin coconut oil. It has cantilever wax and rose wax in it, so it's a wow. totally natural base. Then it's got things like salicylic acid, which is just going to break down any sort of dry skin and help it to rinse away, and it's got lavender oil as well. Wow. So with this one, you apply it directly to the scalp before you wash the hair, leave it for maybe 20 minutes, and then just shampoo and condition out as normal. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that you would use all the time, but something that you would use as an occasional treatment. Um, I've actually used this on eczema on my skin as well, and it works really oh, well. Okay. Um, so with this, you would just part the hair, get it directly onto the scalp. Because of the coconut oil, it can be quite sort of sticky in the hair, so I try and get as much on my scalp as possible. Then leave it for 20 minutes, just walk around the house, do whatever you want to do, watch some TV, and then when you get in the shower, shampoo is normal and condition it out. That sounds quite helpful because there's some times where I wash my hair and I've rinsed, I've conditioned and all that good stuff. And then I can still see a bit of kind of flake, even though I've just washed it. Yeah. So that would probably be really useful. It's yeah. really good. And what you sometimes find as well is if you do find that the um, there's still bits of dry hair that are getting caught in the hair, what you can actually do is if you apply the shampoo to your hair while it's still dry and work it in with the balm, then get in the shower and rinse it wow. out. Okay. They sort of break down together, and it helps to break down everything a little bit more easily as well. How about smell as well? It actually, smells really, really nice. You can smell the coconut oil in there, which I like, and then you get this big hit of lavender too. So it actually, to say that it's quite a sort of <laughs> medicated product, it doesn't smell too kind of strong. I think we're sometimes like, we're used to things that are good for us, not smelling like yeah, great, yeah. but this one for me, like I just get quite a lot of coconut yeah. oil from it. I think sometimes like our hair can react really badly to going from the, the cold and the wet outside to going into like really dry centrally heated buildings. So the other thing that I would normally try and incorporate into my routine around this time of year is doing a hair mask or a hair treatment every week or every two weeks. So our hair treatments are a little bit different. They go on dry hair before you wash your hair. You can leave them for 20 minutes upwards and then you get in the shower, shampoo and condition them out. So we have a few different ones, but if you wanted something that was just going to be really nourishing and really moisturising, I would actually recommend, just behind me here, sorry, this one, which is Chuen Wen Hua. Wow. Thanks for the <laughs> practice to say it. Um, Chuen Wen Hua is the Chinese god of hair. This one is really gorgeous. I love it just because the ingredients are so simple and so natural. It's the kind of thing that you could almost make yourself. So you've got fresh free-range eggs in here, you've got bananas, you've got olive oil, there's some rosemary, um, there's some bay, there's balsamic vinegar to give your hair a little bit of shine. Wow. So there's just loads and loads of protein. So it just really feeds your hair and nourishes your hair. And it's really good if you find your hair is dry and brittle. So I would normally find, try, try and find time to do this between once a week and once every two weeks. It just depends like how dry my hair is and how horrible the weather is basically but often in the winter we don't go out as much so sometimes it's a nice excuse to like stay in and really pamper yourself and you know you can tie your hair up get a face mask on at the same time <laughs> but if you've got friends around make an evening out of it so have a little smell of this one it's got quite a sort of spicy herbal smell to it which i, I like that. and you can smell yeah. that kind of bay in the base the bay infusion is the first ingredient so it smells quite crispy to me as well <laughs> So I would say that this, this would be kind of like the things that I would recommend to you. So going in every two weeks with the rehab and the retread is a really nice sort of cleansing and repairing shampoo and conditioner combination. Using the r and as often as you feel you need to. And then every couple of weeks to just repair the scalp with a super balm and protect with the shine one half. So, uh, sounds like How something you could cute. do, definitely. Yeah, and it sounds really kind of low maintenance still, which yeah. I like. Once a week, once every two weeks, I can just give up because yeah. I just hate washing my hair. <laughs> it takes ages, doesn't it? It's quite time consuming. Yeah. The thing that I like about doing the hair treatments as well is you don't actually have to 
actively do them. This is something that you can put on. It takes five minutes to put on, and then you can just go and do whatever you want to do. I've even been to the supermarket with a hair mask on. I have no shame. <laughs> so, you know, you can just put it on and then sit down and watch TV for a little while, or read a book, or do knitting, whatever it is that you want to do. And it's not actually taking that much extra time out of your routine, which I love, but the benefits that you see, you'll see for like weeks afterwards. And if you work it in regularly, obviously it's not just working on the hair, it's going to work on the scalp. So if you have like a healthy scalp, the hair that's growing out is going to grow out healthy and, you know, ongoing, you're going to have like really gorgeous hair. Thank you. Okay, so as an alternative to rehab as well, the second shampoo that I would recommend is maybe Blasi. Blasi is a really, really moisturizing shampoo that we developed for hair that has either damaged or very dry or that has been dyed. So it's got a much gentler foaming agent in there, it's a much gentler scent. It's also 25% banana. It literally just gets kilos of banana in the factory and much more of the blender of the humans and amazing. It's got some and, um, star anise and pimento as well, it's got a really lovely spicy smell. And cocoa butter, which you don't normally find in really a shampoo. So let me get a little bit of your hands the texture, it's quite different from normal shampoo. You can see it's quite nice and gooey. Yeah, I don't think I've really seen that with a before. Yeah. No. And then when you get it in the water, you'll notice it does not foam as much as the other shampoos and cups and shampoos we used to do. And that's specifically um, so that it doesn't strip away any colour from the hair dye, or so that it's not taking away any bones of the dry hair and leaves. So you'll find that this one is a much gentler cleanse, so it's something that if you really want something that's going to really cleanse away a lot of oil, this might not be the right one for you. If you want something that is going to be gentle, so you're not going to overstrip the hair, and it's going to leave behind all that moisture and the protein from the bananas so that they're going to be the best option. And have a smell of it then, if you've got the water in the fragrance of it. It's mm. really gorgeous. You kind of have that feel now, especially like in comparison to the feel of the, the rehab. It's really kind of a silky feel, so I can see how it would keep that moisture in and it's not stripping it away. The bananas are humectant as well, which means that they will draw moisture into the hair, but it's also lots of moisture in there as well, so it's the other part which makes it make sure So those are two both moisturizers but slightly different options for you for the shampoo. When yeah. you get it in the water, this is when, it, when I smell it in the pot when it first came out, I was like, wow, sorry, I tried it in the water, but I'm like, it's, it's more subtle. Yeah. I love the strong smells in the pot, so I would have been sold from the pot. Yeah. 